on an adventure of exploring the world and discovering where we want to plant roots someday. In the meantime, we're living out of a messy suitcase. Here's our story. A little over 25 years ago, we met in a convent in New York City. I had just gotten out of the army and Lisa was working for the Associated Press on the international desk. And we met in a convent because that's where the New York Flyers met on Wednesday evenings for speed work. And so I walked into this convent to store my bag and the first person I saw was this lanky guy. And uh, I, I had just joined the Flyers and uh, just really moved to the city and I was looking for someone to run with and, uh, and, and ride my bike with and I ran and, you know, I uh, ran into this group. It sounded like fun, and uh, well, that's that's how that's how the story started. So we started riding bikes together and running together, and eventually it evolved into romance after a few months of just being friends. And then right after we realized we loved each other, I got posted to Puerto Rico with the Associated Press. And I made a big monumental decision and. A few months later, I followed her to Puerto Rico, uh, where uh, you know where we uh, where we lived for. Well, where I was there for a little over a year before I, uh, I came back to the states. Actually, after asking uh, Lisa to marry me, and uh, she uh, she surprisingly accepted, and <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and eventually followed me back about six months later. Yeah. So we loved Puerto Rico and we loved living in Latin America and we were both learning Spanish but there wasn't any work for Bob and so we decided to go back to New York to start our married life together where we knew that there were jobs for both of us. So uh, once, in, once in New York we all both settled into our jobs um, and then uh, you know, a little while later we had our first kid, Eric. Um, and. Uh, you know, we quickly realized that probably bringing that kid up in in New York City was not the best. Mm -hmm. So we moved out moved out to the suburbs, out onto the Long Island Sound. Yes, Mamaroneck, where we had our second kid, Lex. And, and uh, you know, we also um, we also bought a house in uh, in Vermont because we love the country, and uh, we went to uh, went to that house, you know, many 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 weeks and weekends of the year. Mm -hmm. You know, we love the mountains, we love the skiing, we love the outdoors. And, yep. Uh, yep. In fact, we spent half our summers in Vermont and, uh, and a lot of ski weekends as well and rented out as a vacation home, even today. But in 2008, the bottom of our little life sort of dropped out when the recession began and Bob lost his job and we could no longer afford to live in New York. So uh, we were looking for a job. We, were gonna, we decided we were going to look for a job that... Uh, in a, in a place, jobs, actually. jobs, yeah, in in a location that uh, that more suited our lives. So I mean, we literally pulled out a map, and mm -hmm. uh, and looked at places where it would suit our lifestyle. Right, and that we could afford. Yep, and had jobs. Yep. And obviously, the first place we looked was Vermont, but uh, Vermont didn't have the jobs that uh, you know that that would fit us. Right. It had the houses. Yeah, but no jobs. <laughs> but no jobs. <laughs> but pretty quickly after starting this, um, I was able to get a job in Colorado, in Denver, working for a nonprofit. So I moved the family the end of 2008, beginning of 2009, to Evergreen, Colorado. Yep, where, uh, where we lived for almost 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, well, part in Evergreen, and then we moved down the hill, as they call it, toward Denver, to Lakewood, Colorado. And both of the kids um, really thrived in Colorado, and we really enjoyed it. It was a wonderful experience. Wonderful. I mean, the, again, the outdoors, the skiing, the mountains, uh, the healthy lifestyle, yep. of, of uh, and, and the you know, everyone was so active out there oh. that um, you know it was just a, it was just a great place. Yeah, Bob Bob climbed a whole bunch of 14ers, which are mountains 14,000 feet or higher. How many did you? I did 26. So. And I did some hiking with him, but I really got into the bike riding out there and started doing mountain passes and just um, I got a new bike with a lot of gears and uh, and we just both became really strong and happy and healthy enjoying the outdoors in Colorado. Then our oldest kid Eric graduated from high school and uh, eventually decided to go to England in Keele University mm -hmm. to study English literature and uh, our, our second kid uh, uh, Lex uh, graduated from high school last year. 
And Lex is taking a gap year with us. Um, and we'll be starting Champlain College this August. Exactly. And then we'll be empty nesters. <laughs> but as those kids graduated from high school, when we started, we looked at ourselves and said, hey, what's, what's next for us? Right. You know, many, many people have, have you know, that net empty nest feeling and, you know, you, you have to sort of reinvent, you know, who you are and what you're doing. And we had, we had that conversation, um, you know, many, many times. Yeah. And the fact is that we love Colorado, but nothing's tying us to Colorado. Both of our families live in the Northeast for the most part, um, Virginia, Pennsylvania, um, you know, New York, yeah. Massachusetts. We have a brother in Germany though, but otherwise um, there's really nothing in Colorado. Just like Lex, <laughs> little visit from a bee. <laughs> um, so we started talking about where we should end. Yep, and what we were going to do. So, yeah. um, um, well, while we still lived in New York, you know, some of the things that we, we thought about was, um, you know, making, you know, one of our Vermont houses our, our you know, retirement uh, location. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we loved the house. We loved the location. Uh, we can do the things we love there. Do the things we love there. But as time went on, we we realized that the, the winters were... Brutal. Maybe, <laughs> brutal. Maybe, maybe a little colder. Maybe a little colder than we wanted. Than we wanted. Yeah. And... Uh, you know, so we so we started to change change right. our, our our thought process and start looking at other things. Right, and and we also realized after living in Colorado that Colorado had big mountains and beautiful biking and all those things too. And we have a house there as well, and it has nicer weather in the winter. So Vermont's pretty much out for a for a retirement destination at least during the winter. During months. the winter months, yeah, yeah. exactly for for a long extended stay. It has great summers though. Yeah. So. Um, we we started we started looking at maybe the mobile lifestyle, yeah, and uh, you know maybe purchasing an RV and traveling around you know the, the the great big country that we have here in the U.S. and experiencing and seeing things here that you know that we just that we just haven't seen, and uh, sorry, you no, know, we went to we went to RV shows, and uh, we we looked at we looked at RVs and we really had even seen some that that we liked and you know we're. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're planning a retirement, you know, a sort of a mobile retirement. You know, we even mm -hmm. looked at, we even looked at temporary jobs. Or being um, hosts at campgrounds, like national campgrounds. You can go and mm -hmm. live in them and just be a campground host. Yeah, or, or, or even seasonal workers at some of the Amazon uh, distribution facilities. Right. Um, but, um, but, but when did that change? Well, I think part of the reason it changed is that throughout our family life we've always traveled a lot um, we both both Bob and I have lived overseas even before we met each other we had done a lot of traveling and he had lived in Germany in the army for four and a half years and then once we came together we still loved traveling so even when our kids were babies we still took them with us we took them to France and Switzerland and Germany and England and the Dominican Republic and Canada and Puerto Rico Mexico in Mexico, and exactly. Mexico, yeah, exactly in Mexico, <laughs> and 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 Belize, and Belize, and and, and Belize <laughs> is really where the, everything changed. Which is the trip that changed. It changed our, our lives. Our, it did. Yep. Now before we went to Belize, I went to the library looking for reading material, and since we were in our fifties, we were starting to think about what are we going to do in retirement. So I found this book. Um, the International Living Guide to Retiring Overseas on a Budget. And I took it out of the library and I brought it. And then what happened in Belize? Well, it was, uh, it was late season. It was actually, we went there during, um, during Thanksgiving, but mm -hmm. it was really, really late in the, in the hurricane season. But the uh, late, late season hurricane formed south of Belize and uh, Belize sort of took a brunt of, of brutal rain rainfall for almost the whole week we were there it rained like 20 inches yeah it the, the it was so deep that even going out and walking around this walkable island of uh, key caulker that we were staying on the water came up to your ankles so pretty much we stayed in our on our airbnb on stilts yep and read and watched movies and, and we did a lot of reading and, and uh, bob read that i read the book and i said lisa read it. you have to read this book <laughs> you have to read this book and I said, you know, it sort of expands on what we've been talking about, you know, just exploring our, our country, but it expanded it to the world. The world. And, uh, yep. 
you know, it sort of opened our eyes and opened our horizons and opened our thinking to, you know, what, what possibilities there could be. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so when we got back, we continued that planning yep. and that research. Yep, read, read more books and, uh, yep. you know, read more planning. And, um, you know, we obviously have some, you know, some lim family limitations because, you know, we've got, uh, you know, kid, you know, one kid in college now, another kid going to college. And, um, and we have a mom, your mom, yeah. my stepmom, and yeah. and uh, we have uh, we have three cats yeah. who, who you'll who you'll meet here soon. <laughs> so we yeah. realize that there's a few requirements that any place we go overseas have to have. They have they have to have access to the United States on an airplane. Yep. Yeah. They have to have a low cost of living. Any place we stay has to be pet friendly. They have to have good medical care because we're only getting older. Unfortunately, I haven't found a key to making us get younger. And they have to be safe. And, and it has to be easy to get our cats to and from. And we wanted to have a genuine experience wherever it is that we are. Really feel like we're living in that place, not just a tourist experience. Yep. 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 So, uh, so then, no, we, so we that had, was we, still like a long-term idea, but... Yeah, we had, we had, to, talk about, had to talk about timing. You know, yeah. when, when were we going to do this? And, and uh, you know, we're still... You know, still had good jobs, um, you know, good stable jobs, and you know, it's like, you know, when, when, when are we going to do it? And when can we afford to do it? Yeah. And so two things happened. One is that some people dear to us, who are our age, or younger, uh, died of cancer, and it really made us think about life and what's important to us, and how much of it we want to spend working 40 hours a week. And then my father um, got dementia, and he slipped away, and that just made us think even more. Yep. Do we want to wait until we're 70, or do we want to do some exploring while we're young, and while we're healthy, and while we're fit, and we can really enjoy it the most? So it moved up the timeline. And, and, and more importantly, we had, we had to start thinking, could we financially do it? Right. Could we financially do it? And, you know, we... Uh, so we have a wonderful financial advisor. And if you live in Colorado, you should go to him. <laughs> Bob Hawsey with Thrive and Financially, his offices in Evergreen, as well as in Lakewood. But we met with Bob and with some other people at Thrivent and sat down, figured out all of our finances, all of our retirement accounts and everything. And Bob and I are really fortunate because we both started saving for retirement when we were young. My father was a CPA, so he had me opening my first retirement account I don't know what it was called then but when I was like 22 years old practically right out of college yep. and you did the same thing um, yep. yeah, a little little little, little later, later than that, but to, still because uh, it was in the army but uh, yeah. when, when I could I started uh, putting money away into retirement accounts and then we both bought our first properties when we were still in our 20s and discovered the, um, the value of real estate investment when it comes to um, increasing your portfolio. So by the time we started having this conversation, we had quite, a, and the stock market yeah. has been great for the last five years. Exactly. And so suddenly we discovered after talking to Bob and his partners that if we found a place where it didn't cost a lot to live, we could um, afford to do this much younger than we had thought. Mm -hmm. And we decided to go for it. And we decided to go for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we're, we're not we're not members of the fire cult, you know yeah. the uh, you know financial independence retire early cult. I mean we're, you know we're 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 close to re we're we're close to retirement age, but yep. uh, you know maybe a little maybe a little earlier than than most people. But uh, you know we 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 looked around and uh, said hey if we can we can find maybe a little cheaper cost of living. Yeah. You know, we, we can afford to, uh, we can afford, afford to stop working now. Although Lisa is still, am, yeah, still, still doing some work for several clients. Um, but, uh, so we moved up the timeline and, uh, so rather than be empty nesters living in our Colorado house, getting older, we have stepped off the treadmill and we are world explorers. Exactly. So we rented out our house, you know, purged our possession, possessions, packed our cats, uh, <laughs> jam, jam Lex into the back of the truck. As and, well as two saxophones and a guitar. <laughs> and a guitar, <laughs> which, you'll, which you'll see in, in an upcoming video, too, of jamming that into the truck. But, uh, 
you know, we'll, uh, and we've headed south of the border. We head south of the border, exactly. We'll we'll talk to you a little a uh, little later in the next uh, in the next video about why we made that decision, how we came upon that decision, and what exactly you know, our plans are, you know, for uh, for being south of the border. But, so, until then. Until then. Hasta luego. Thanks for coming on our journey with us.